What's going on crew? Equals here with Equals Gaming and today we are going to be playing RimWorld Alpha 16 brand new series and this is going to be the Underground Drug Lab. So the main goal of this series is to create a drug lab, a super secret drug lab, right? Deep in the mountains somewhere over here. Let's see where exactly we can build that. Oh yeah, so we have plenty of room to dig into the mountainside here create a drug lab. In addition to that, we're going to be uh, creating and trading firearms, selling prisoners, and occasionally we may even take off some body parts to sell as well. We'll just have to see how the series goes. So to begin with here, we're just going to introduce you to the crew. So uh, we got Kasayan, always part of the crew here. Kasayan's going to be a shooter and constructor, going to help out with mining and social, teetotaler, and industrious. Now Yuddy here, is um pretty sure yeah yuddy is kasayan's wife yuddy is a good shooter as well gonna be the main researcher and gonna grow and be our doctor as well then we got john here john is going to be melee and mining with uh construction and doctoring as his backup he's a brawler and a masochist and john and soda here are married soda is a melee and the chef and then again, mining and crafting as a backup, fast walker and masochist for this one. So uh, Kasayan's the first one in the crew. If anybody else wants to claim one of these three colonists and the colonists that we will eventually get later on, just go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know which one you want. Uh, in addition to our colonists, we also have Jagged, the female iguana, and Hugs, the male iguana. So what we're gonna do first is get everybody equipped here, Yadi with the survival rifle, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and do something a little different. I'm going to put a asterisk here for the colonists who are, or not an asterisk, I'm sorry, that is a hyphen. A hyphen here for the colonists who are shooters and an asterisk for the colonists who are melee. And this will just help us out during raid times to... Uh, you know, so we know exactly what our colonists do. I don't have to click through every single one of them, make sure they have a weapon, see whether or not they're good with it. So if we have any colonists that kind of suck, we won't give them a hyphen or an asterisk, and I know not to recruit them into battle. Very, very easy. Um, I did go ahead and set up a few zones. So we got our animal area over here for our iguanas. We're just going to keep them in this area over here, as well as I did already set up the restrictions. Pretty standard there. I set up the outfit and drug policy as well as this is the work tab here. Get out of here. This is the work tab here. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to look at it. I'm not going to go through it because I feel like it's really boring. That's why I usually do it off screen. But there it is for those of you who care. Now let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to move our animals into animal area 1. And then we are going to get everything in this area cut down. Um, we are using the or a ton of mods now all the mods are also in the description I'm not gonna go through them because I feel like it's boring and it takes way too long so that's that now we are gonna go ahead and build up some bedrooms um, this looks like a decent area I want six by six bedrooms so we are gonna build into the mountain over here actually we might build into the mountain this way yeah, I think we'll build down into the mountain. So for now, we're just going to kind of have... Um, now, I want them to be 6x6 six six on the inside, right? So 7, 7... Wait, like this? Nope, that's 5x6, so it's got to go out one more. Like that. And this will be one bedroom. Ugh. There we go. This will be one bedroom. So let's go ahead and get all of this mined out. And then right next to this bedroom, we'll have another 6x6 six six bedroom. And we'll go ahead and get all of this mined out as well. So we'll let them get started on that. Go ahead and get the walls up in here. Door and door. Get all this constructed. Uh, we are also going to want to cut plants inside here. So Yuddy, nice, gonna go work on the cacti here. Um, let's go ahead and get some growing zones set up. 
So we are going to do tilled soil zones. We're going to do a 2x13, 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 and 2x13 here. Growing zone, growing zone, of course growing zone, and one more. Can you guess what it is? It's a growing zone. So we're going to do rice here, carrots here, corn here, and this one will be hay grass for our iguanas. Because unfortunately we don't really have much to feed the iguanas right now, but hopefully we can fix that pretty easily. We're also going to go ahead and set up 2x11s on this side. One of these is going to be for heel root, and the other is going to be for cotton. So let's set you right here for heel root, and you are going to be for cotton. No, yeah, yeah, cotton. Okay. There we go. That's all set up there. Um, we also need to... We are going to build into the mountain, but for now we're going to have a semi-functional base outside of the mountain because it's going to take a long time to get everything built up in the mountain because the mining takes forever. So for now, we're going to get just the basics set up out here. Let's get the dumping stockpile zone down here, I think. And then once all this gets built up, we'll use this as a stockpile and then this will be our kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and set up stockpile um, let's do production first. So we definitely need a butcher's table and a fueled stove. Put those up there. Um, also going to use, we definitely need tables. So I do have modular tables mod, which is an incredible mod. It allows you to pretty much just do that. Like you can make one by one tables, but all of them link together. And it also comes with stools that you can make one by one, and then the stools also link together as well. Just makes uh, life a lot easier, honestly. Because the uh, other tables are just, they're big and they're clunky and they're just kinda, they're not a good shape. So I don't, I don't like them. And that's why I have a mod. So we are gonna have this stockpile right here that is going to be just for meals critical importance, and then we'll throw everything else in here for now. Um, let's get the rest of this and this done. We do need to get some double beds in here. Double bed, double bed. Uh, we should, oh, that's right. I completely forgot. We're playing, <laughs> we're playing in the desert because I don't really do desert starts very often. Um, it's not like a barren desert, as you can see. There's quite a bit of grass and vegetation and such, but it is nowhere near as much, uh, as many trees as when I normally start in, like, the forest or something, which makes a lot of sense, right? I think that the forest would definitely have more trees than the desert would. We need to... Okay, so we got John here mines first, but he's going to plant cut. So we're actually going to take John off of plant cutting here and have him mine instead. Uh, oh yeah, that's plenty of wood. Get all that hauled out, and then, like I said, this is just going to be a general stockpile for whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. I am using colored stockpiles or recolor stockpile I don't really use it too often but we'll go ahead and use it now just because why not right it adds some pretty colors to the game makes everything look a little better uh, do need to add a bill here but your creature of course do forever cook four simple meals do until let's just go with 12 12 will be fine and then you can start cooking again when we're down to four. So that'll be good. Um, Kassion, work on these beds. Beds are pretty important. Get the walls and then the beds. Get the, get the beds. A normal bed, that's not bad. It's actually normal. Um, oh, I think... 
Wait. Oh, okay, Kassan's still working on the bed. I was like, what the hell? You can't just go to sleep. So, six by six. I definitely need to move them up and do a wooden wall. But we're not going to worry about it. Like I said, this is not permanent by any means. So, Kassan, finish up this bed, and then you'll have some place to sleep. Because right now, Yuddy is sleeping on the ground. Do we? Is it really taking that long? Jeez, dude. There you go. Go to bed. Yaddy, what are you doing? Sleeping on the ground. Get up and go in the bed. There you go. That's not bad for a first day start. I mean, we got our kitchen. We got our stockpile. We almost finished the bedrooms. I should have waited to queue up the bedroom or the kitchen and the stockpile until the bedrooms are done. But whatever. No one's growing, though, which kind of concerns me. Nobody's set to one for growing. Okay. So we got cook. Okay. So she's plant cutting first, which is fine. We did need the wood, but that should be all of the plant cutting. So tomorrow she should get started on growing. We have agave. How are our animals not doing too good? Build roof area right here for the iguanas. And we'll also go ahead and throw some sleeping spots in here for them. Then we need a stockpile. Let's do a blue stockpile. And this is going to be food for the iguanas. So raw food, vegetation. Um, What do we want to put up here? What would the... Oh, here we go. Let's definitely do agave. That'll be fine. And then we'll also do hay when we have some. We might not be able to restrict the... Iguanas for now just because I don't know if there's enough food for them Because we haven't even started playing the hay But it shouldn't take too long Should be good everything's set to haul in here go ahead and remove this plan because it's bothering me Oh, she actually started cooking. Um, we don't need to cook yet Because we have plenty of <laughs> Oh, okay, they don't eat very much agave at all, so that's really good. Yeah, they both ate, so that'll be fine. Did we get... We got rice, carrots... Okay, hay grass, yeah. So we just get some stuff planted here. Everybody else is going to work on hauling. Now, what is this? This is marble. Gross. Where is the granite? I know we have granite. Oh, man, the granite's all the way up here. That's kind of upsetting because I want to build the walls out of granite because granite's much stronger than than the marble is, but I don't want to run all the way over there. Although we have a decent amount of granite chunks, so it looks like we got all of the planting done. Gonna get we need a research bench as well, but we also need to figure out exactly where we want to start mining. So I'm thinking we'll do three wide tunnel. Probably go 20. I definitely want the bedrooms in here. Well, we'll go down one. So, bedrooms in here. Six by six again. Bedroom. 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 And then we'll do one more bedroom here. So, that will be that. And then we'll have another hallway that kind of goes off this way. Have a kitchen. Um, I know I want the kitchen to be 9 wide. I think 9 by 11 sounds good. Or 9 by 17, apparently. Let's do 9 by 19. Why not? We're going to have it a kitchen and a rec area. So, that'll be fine. And then directly opposite of it, we'll have the freezer over here. So, the freezer... Need a pretty big freezer, probably. Freezer like this. We'll just go ahead and mark this as freezer. Freezer, F for freezer, right? Okay. And this in here is going to be the kitchen. So, kitchen, that is the ugliest K I've ever made in my life but it works. <laughs> K 
kitchen and rec room here. So, kitchen and rec room. Wow. That, that's a much better R. Okay. So, kitchen and rec room there. And this one was 9 by 19. We want 15, 17 wide. 17 by 17. So yeah, let's just go with 17 for the kitchen too. Now the reason I want 17 by 17 for the stockpile, which is what this is gonna be, is because we should be able, or that will completely fit one trade beacon, like right in the center, with a little bit of area on the outside to put in like a comms console and random stuff like that. So we'll go 17 by 17 for now. Why am I so terrible at this? Stockpile, right? Stockpile, kitchen rec room, and then we'll move the freezer over. Actually, we could just make the freezer that large. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be in the mountain, so it'll be really easy to keep cool. So stockpile, and then we'll need a crafting room as well. Might as well do the crafting room like right here. And I think that should do. Crafting room, there we go. Boom. That should be fine. Um, did we get most of the stuff hauled in? I think we did. I'm not sure what people are doing. Uh, yeah, actually, it looks like we got a lot hauled in. So that's good. Still working on a little bit of hauling. Got some palm trees up here that have dates. So as far as vegetation goes, let's just turn on all of the fruits, right? All fruits. But keep everything else off and that's what we'll feed our iguanas for now so let's see if we can get let's harvest wait it's not ready not ready to harvest okay that's fine agave this is ready to harvest give some more agave to our iguanas that agave is not ready this agave is plenty of agave around the map uh most of it isn't ready to harvest though little unfortunate okay this date is ready and what are these? I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna call that one a tree. Oh, nice! We also got some steel here that I'll have to mine into. How much steel? Okay, 621 to start with. That's not bad, actually. He just brought in a little more. Is there like more scattered? Uh, yeah. So they're gonna be running down here to grab this steel. 236. We're gonna have a hall party in the morning and get everybody to run down here and grab it first thing after they eat. Because I definitely want to add eight without table. Dude, there's a table there, I swear. Um, but I went ahead and started with the colonist in a relationship just because it saves a lot on space and I didn't have to build quite as much. Plus they get hella good mood buffs, right? They got, got some loving, opinion of my wife, and then, um, Oh, got some loving X2, so that's good. Did you eat? You ate, so come down here and haul some steel. You ate, come down here and haul some steel. You have not eaten. You ate, so come down here and haul some steel. There we go. Packet survival meals. Got 23 left, but we also apparently have the means to produce regular food. So that's good. Put some berries and some agave up there. Did we harvest the agave? Where are y'all going? Harvesting date, okay. Uh, there's also more steel up here, 154. Hauling steel, hauling steel, harvesting agave, hauling date, reserved by John. Yeah, they'll, they'll get it figured out. Okay, wait, where's the colony? There we go. Okay, so we can go ahead and start working on mining, I think. So we're just gonna go ahead and mine all the way through this tunnel here. Um, yeah, and then we'll work on the bedrooms. Uh, we need to set up a prison as well. So we'll just set up, I mean like this, this will work perfectly. It's gonna be a huge prison too, so. Set up this as the prison over here. Uh, go ahead and cut this plant down. Uh, hold on, let's not do that though. Let's do this, and let's give them access through the kitchen instead of having to come outside. 
because this way they can be in the middle of the colony, it'll be fine. Furniture, we'll go ahead and throw a bed in here. This is actually going to be a huge prison. Um, actually, I think what I want to do with this is turn it into a prison and a guest area. So we'll get that mined out too. Let's actually come down here and cancel the rest of this mining for now. There we go, and we'll get this turned into a guest area and a prison. So the prison will be connected to the kitchen, and the guest area will be outside, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. It's still pretty, I mean, it's a decent area for both of them. So let's throw down some guest beds. Probably not right there, of course. Um, I don't know, we'll just do it like this. So guest bed, guest bed, guest bed, and guest bed. That'll work. Eight guest beds, plenty of guest beds. We don't even need that many, but they can't complain too much. And then actually in here, we can... Where's smooth floor? Smooth floor, there we go. We can smooth the floor in the prison here just to make it a little prettier. We'll go ahead and throw two beds as well as a table, stool, a plant pot right here, and a torch lamp right here. Make the prison nice and fancy, because if we're not gonna recruit them, we're gonna sell them. But I really, I mean, we're probably gonna be selling most of our prisoners, but either way, you know, you gotta, you gotta give them a decent prison. Oh, we are completely out of wood false um yeah this is gonna be an issue so we're gonna go out here and chop this wood what we're gonna do in the meantime is set up a actually we're gonna turn this whole area probably not the whole area right we don't need that many trees so 10 by 10 here and this is going to be for ceracopia trees which I'm pretty sure are still Growing time 10 days. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, definitely need some more wood. Uh, we didn't even get this bed finished off. What are you doing, John? Going to all wood. Soda here, chopping down trees. Wow, these trees do not give much wood at all. That should be enough to finish off the prison, though. But smoothing the floors is going to help a lot. We got visitors. This guy wants to trade something. Came in here and ate something out of a can, and then it looked like he was puking all over our table. Let's see, actually, can we recruit them? We're going to try to entertain, make that the default. Do we want either one of these? Psychopath, very neurotic, and slowpoke. So not him. Prostophile, careful shooter, and jogger. But he's not really good at anything. I mean, he has known capabilities, Decent, I mean, it would, it's always nice to have an extra doctor. He would just be stuck on, like, hauling and cleaning duty at all times. But... I mean, I don't see why not. Let's actually try and recruit this guy. Try to recruit him, but we don't want uh, Blackjack here. But we'll take Pepe, or Peep, however you want to pronounce it. Doesn't really matter. Let's get... Oh, why would you... Visitor flag there when we have bedrooms for you. I think Kasion is our yeah, Kasion's our best talker. So whenever they get up, you can go in there and trade with him. I don't think he has anything though. Yeah, he has a little bit. Oh, worse in the relation. Nice job. We're trying to recruit the guy and you're insulting him. Yeah, they've got canned meals. Components, silver. Eh. Not really much that we want to buy from him. Um, wow, I didn't even think about what we were going to call our colony. Hmm. Yeah, I did not think about this at all. So, a faction name, we're going to go with the, um, <laughs> I don't even know. We're just going to go with the cave criminals, because we're going to live in a cave and we're going to be criminals. So, deal with it. Cave Criminals. And this one's going to be... What do we want to call this community? Um, 
drugs under the rock. Right? Yeah, there we go. That's that. That's what I'm going with. If you don't like it, oh well. Uh, yeah, whatever. My playthrough. Anyways, guys, I think this is going to be a good time to wrap up this episode. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the crew, and I will catch you guys next time.